guys this video will be featuring on the bayesian belief networks that is bnn in artificial intelligence now this bayesian belief networks is used to solve the problem which have the knowledge of god uh, the uncertainty so this is mainly installed into the uh, artificial robots to solve the problems like criminal cases or like uh, where the domain knowledge is not clear so let us see how this bayesian belief network is being created and what all assumptions are required in order to solve this problem so to get started there is an example uh, of a burglary alarm system now uh, first and foremost the bnn networks is based on the joint probability distribution of uh, mathematics so it is based on the conditional probability that suppose if one event is there then uh, that event is occurring prior some already event has been occurred means it's based on the previous event uh, it's called as the causality so this bnn is also working upon the causality principle so to get started we have an example that consider you have a new burglar alarm installed at your home it is fairly reliable at detecting the burglary but it also responds to certain occasions to minor earthquakes there are two neighbors mary and john who have promised to call you at work when they hear the alarm now the scenario is that john always calls when he hears the alarm but sometimes he confuses the telephone ringing with the alarm and so he may not call or he may call also but in case of mary mary loves loud music and sometimes she misses the alarm so the condition is how will you determine the knowledge of this uncertain domain and this you have to incorporate in your robots to simulate and create a bayesian network and to solve this so for solving this we have four steps basically so let's go one by one so first step is to list out all the events that are there in this so i have already listed it that first is burglary second earthquake then alarm then telephone ringing then loud music john calls and mary calls now we will denote it with some uh, letter and alphabets so first it is burglary so we'll denote it with a b for earthquake e for alarm a telephone ringing t loud music l john calls j mary calls m now we have to find the dependencies of these events from this given condition and after that we have to draw a dag Uh, DAG stands for the directed acyclic graphs now directed acyclic graphs are those graphs uh, which do not have a loop and it's only in one direction the flow is only in one direction now graph is basically a uh, point and edge mechanism uh, where it consists of uh, nodes and edges as links and this acyclic Uh, means there is no uh, cycles or loops to these graphs so and it makes a dag so for solving this problem we have the nodes as events and for links we use the dependencies between these uh, events so let us draw one dag it is very simple so first we'll consider that we have an alarm mainly so for alarm we'll draw a here we'll place a right at the center and first if there is a burglary then alarm rings so we will denote b here and also if earthquake happens at that time also alarm rings so e happens and so this is directed here so this is a directed graph consisting of 
edges as well as nodes nodes as events and edges as the dependencies now when alarm rings it has to be notified to someone so if alarm rings it is notified to john so john gets notified when alarm rings as well as mary get notified when alarm rings but john also attends telephone so he may confuse with the telephone ringing with the alarm so there is a t here that is this event is associated with john as well as for m for mary we have the loud music so whenever loud music influences mary she also misses the alarm so this is the directed acyclic graph for bayesian belief network now we have to uh, provide the conditional probability to each of this network so our final and last step would be drawing the uh, conditional probability for this graph so we'll reconstruct this graph once more with the new added probability distributions so uh, we have here that is we have a that is our alarm we have burglary system we have the e we have notification to john we have notification to mary as well and their influence in events that is t as well as l now we have to apply the conditional probability to each of them so before that uh, we have some notations that will denote b as p of b that is probability of b and we have p of e that is probability of e next we have p of j given that a has already occurred and probability of m that a has already occurred when this just says that probability of john calling or john notifying uh, to the house owner would be dependent on this alarm means alarm ringing has already been occurred based on that john would be calling so this is a conditional probability this is the causality basically in this and now for p of a it would be p of a probability of event a such that b and e has already occurred means this should occur then only the alarm will ring so this is the probability notation we are giving to this bayesian network now we will give the uh, probability values based upon the true or false value so for that we will consider one table so here it is so basically it is t and f that is true and false now we'll assume and give values to this uh, table that uh, probability of having the burglary it should be less so it would be considered as 0.01 or some other value so it should be 0.001 and 1 minus this would be probability of false so it would be 0.0999 so these are just demonstrational values you can change it now the probability of uh, having earthquake that also should be kept as less so for that we will consider as 002 and for false 1 minus 0.002 that is 0.998 next is Uh, we have to construct this table that is probability of a even day that b and e has already occurred so for that we'll construct one table here that is 
for b and e we have true and false so for this event we have true true then we have true false then false true and false false and this condition will be 0.95 and 0.05 next would be 0.94 for tf and 0.06 next it would be 0.29 and 0.71 next it would be 0.001 and 0.0 0.999. So these values you can uh, actually calculate from the conditional probability uh, that is probability of A given that B and E has already occurred. Next uh, we have to uh, assign the probability values to this uh, J as well as to M. So for that we will be creating one table. Similarly for here, so it would be A, for alarm ringing it would be T and F. So a table consisting of three columns that is alarm, true and false. Now only two conditions are possible in this, either the alarm will ring or the alarm will not ring. So it would be T and F and T and F. So now it would be 0 0.9 and the false condition would be 0 0.1 and now for false it would be 0 0.05 and it would be 0 0.95. Next for Mary calling when the alarm occurs the distribution would be 0 0.7 and 0 0.3 and next would be 0 0.01 and 0.99 so this table is constructed based upon the causality of Bayesian networks so this uh, graph is basically uh, the causality of showing various of the events to some other events it is uh, linked with one another with the help of edges and so it is uh, Moreover, calculated based upon the joint probability distribution means uh, the probability is not randomized but it is uh, dependent more on the previous uh, probability of previous event and it's influencing more on the parent event. So this is the Bayesian network in uh, artificial intelligence in detail. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you still not subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.